In this vlog, I'm going to show you Chongafi Mansion and Tip Top Restaurant. So come and join me. This is the front gate of Chongafi Mansion. I'm here again and it's my second day in Medan. So we're going to a mansion called Chongafi. He was a businessman and Chinese leader in Medan. So, I'm with my new friends. Say hello to them. Hi. So, here's Rinka. Hi, Rinka. And Dian and Bertha. So, we're going in. It is also known as a historical jewel in Medan. Together with three of my Indonesian friends, we will explore this place. We just have to pay a minimum entrance fee and it comes with a tour guide. So my name is Nazar, so I'm here with your guide who will explain to you about the history of Chamati. So this house is about 119 years old now. Wow. And this is the last of uh, famous pictures of Chongafi. This is him. Mm -hmm. uh, so the picture is when he was 60 years old. And this is his third wife. Oh, okay. Uh, from Indonesia. Oh, okay. Yes. And from the third wife, they have seven children. Uh, five Chongafi Mansion is a two-story structure with 40 rooms. So he moved to Indonesia when he was 18 years old. Oh. And now we go to the next room. Here is the... There are three guest rooms here. Wow. And the first guest room is uh, it's like a Malay concept. Why at the time? Because he was so close to the Malay people. Mm. And he was a good uh, picture of his best friend. His best friend was the leader of Malay at that time. Chongafi financed the building of the Great Mosque. He contributed in the building of the Great Mosque. Masjid Raya? Yes, Masjid Raya. I've been there. And this is the same box from uh, Dutch. Oh. This mansion has Chinese, European, and Malay Art Deco influences in its architectural design. He was close to the Malay, that's why he also had a Malay living room. And after from Malay concept, we go to the European concept. Oh, wow. Here's the guest room, the prime guest room. So it's a European concept. You can see from the chimney Oh, sure, sure. Of course, he was Chinese, so we also have a Chinese-inspired guest room. So it's Chinese-inspired? Oh, wow. Of course, China was also famous for its kitchenware. Okay. Go to the next room. Let's go to see his kitchen. Okay. Chongafi's granddaughter is still using this kitchen until today. So it looks modern because it belongs to the granddaughter. Mm. So this is not the original? It's stuff. still original, but oh. it belongs to the uh, ah. granddaughter. So she's still using it. Right over there is a fireplace. Okay, wow, traditional. Kita nyo naman, this house has a huge square area. It's a big kitchen. And some of its things <laughs> are very antique. And that's what we appreciate wow. about this mansion. These are very expensive now. Antique. They cook by wood still. Ah, okay. Like an exhaust, exhaust pan or something. Here's the gallery of the John Office activity. Okay. Can you continue? I'll talk to them. So, you know, it was a bedroom. Yeah, some of the. The text one. So, some of the. Pansin niyo ba tong guy in white shirt? Di ba bumalik siya? Feeling ko vlogger din to eh. 
seems like uh, three billion at a time. Oh yeah, yeah. many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and you also. Some of the rooms here were converted into a gallery. It shows the colorful life of Chongafi. And he was the founder of Lenka Salman in 1930. At ayan, tapos na siya. Bye bye, kuya. This is where Chongafi's remains were buried. But people go there also? No, it's still private. It's still private. It's only his mansion. Mm -hmm. And now we're heading to the second floor. Here's the ballroom. Okay. Coming? Yes. Okay, let's come in. <laughs> I already know. So this is, this is where you uh, have a party What's this party here? The people are dancing. And this is the picture of the first daughter, Sweetie Chang, when he was 18, and the same person when he was 83. Wow! Wow! Kita nyo naman ang laki-laki ng ballroom na ito. And not only that, this structure was built observing feng shui principles. Mm. Yeah. Sports. What sports do they do? Okay, sports for rich people. <laughs> yeah, he wins. Oh, this is also nice here. Uh, there are some areas that are off limits to tourists. Meanwhile, there are some rooms here that were still used or restored. <laughs> the of the last son. Okay. So this room belongs to the first daughter. So after the first daughter married to a Taiwanese, so mm -hmm. it turns to belong to the younger son. Oh, okay. So all the stuff here in roads from Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland. This structure was built in the 1900s, that's why today, 2020, it's already a 120-year-old mansion. And now it's time to meet my other friend, Delilah. Hi, Delilah. Say, say hi to my subscribers. Hello. This is Delilah. This is your vlog. <laughs> <laughs> this is your vlog. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I will edit it. I have 10 vlogs planned <laughs> for this trip alone. Hello, I'm already in. <laughs> Atemotes look. My name is Dalila. I hope you will see me in real life. <laughs> Come to Medan. Come to Medan, okay? I met Dalila in 2016. At ganyan talaga siya, guys. She's very funny and fun to be with. And now let's continue our tour. Here's another bedroom. And of course, Nazar showed us around. So you try to come here at night and then open this and you turn off. Creepy jumping. Creepy jumping. Oh, that's a typical sound of a music box. Yeah. It's still working. Every music box always use that song. Can I play it? My camera woman Bertha likes the sound. And now let's continue our tour at the second floor. So this room, uh, this house consists of 40 rooms. So 24 for bedrooms. 24 for bedrooms. May sa mga rooms na to, ginawang souvenir shop na. You can buy some clothes and other tokens. Dressing. Wedding dress. Yes. She's that small? This mansion is owned by Chongafi, a Hakka merchant who transferred in Medan. Later, he was able to contribute to the plantations and became a leader of the Chinese people in Medan. He built this mansion in honor of his wife. 
And that ends our tour at this mansion. But we're not done yet because across this mansion, there's a very famous Tip Top restaurant. Wave! Hello! Hi girls! Tip Top began in 1929 only as a bakery, but now it expanded into a restaurant. Hi! It's the oldest bake shop in Medan. Their pastries and bread. Oh. Yeah, this is all yummy. Sobrang dami talaga ng options dito at masasarap pa lahat. So here's Berta. She's confused what to choose. Yeah. Just pick we, because we need to put it in a box. We order one box. <laughs> So we ordered as many sweets as we can, and they put it in one box. Yeah. What else? Ah, this one. Uh -huh. Okay. Ayan na, parami na parami ang aming choices. Okay. Chadang! We're ready! Ayan na ang aming binili. Because right after this restaurant, we are going to another historical site here at Medan City. That would be on my next vlog. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya!